Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Victoria and today we're going to talk about chromosome mutations. I made a sequence about genetics. You can go to the playlist, watch all the videos and then come here and watch this one also. I hope it's going to be helpful. So now I want to talk about chromosome mutations. They are the result of alterations of the structure of one or several chromosomes. And these are the result from errors in the cell division that cause a section of a chromosome to change. That can be, for example, in crossing over in meiosis. They can be divided either in structural or numerical abnormalities. Numerical abnormalities are also called aneuploidy. And here we can have either monosomy where a chromosome from a pair is missing, or trisomy, tetrasomy, and so on, where one or more extra chromosomes are there in a pair. The structural abnormalities can be also of different kinds. For example, deletion, where a portion of a chromosome is missing, duplication, where a portion is doubled, so there will be extra genetic material. Translocations, where a portion is transferred to another chromosome. And there are two kinds of translocations, either reciprocal translocations, where the sections are exchanged from two chromosomes, or Robertsonian translocations, where an entire chromosome has attached to another at the centromere, and this can only happen with a number of chromosomes, which are chromosomes number 13, 14, 15, 21 and 22. Inversion, where a portion of the chromosome has broken off, turned upside down and has been reattached. Insertion, where a portion has broken off and is built in at some other place in another chromosome and the ring formation, where a portion has broken off and formed a ring. This can occur either with or without loss of genetic material. There can be different causes for chromosome mutations. For sperm aneuploidy, it's usually exposure to occupational or lifestyle hazards, which can increase the risk of aneuploid spermatozoa Examples for that are benzene, insecticides and smoking. Then the chrom chromosome instability syndrome, which is a group of disorders characterized by chromosomal instability and breakage, which increases the tendency of developing certain malignancies. Most of the chromosome mutations happen as a result of an accident in sperm or egg formation. Chromosome mutations can also happen after conception. Then we call them mosaicism, where only some of the cells carry the abnormality. So maybe you remember that when a sperm cell and an egg cell fuse, they build a zygote, which will then divide to 2, 4, 8, 16 cells and so on. And when someone in this dividing process, some of the cells or one of the cells mutates, then all cells descending from this cell will carry the mutation, but not all the other 15 or 31 or however any uh, left cells. Also, most cancers or all cancers, I would say, lead to the formation of hybrid genes and fusion proteins. The deregulation of genes and overexpression of proteins or the loss of tumor suppressor genes. I will give an example for that later with a chronic myeloid leukemia. But let's just say that here there can be a dysregulation of the normal cell growth. Now let's talk about a few examples. Down syndrome, I think, is a disorder which most people should know. It's also usually called trisomy 21, so that there is an extra copy of the 21st chromosome. So this is a Example for aneuploidy, where three instead of two chromosomes of a homologous pair are there. 
and it's associated with some impairment of cognitive ability and also their char characteristic physical features. And most commonly, as I said, it's a result of onoploidy, but also in 2 to 3 percent, it is caused by a translocation during meiosis that transfers most of chromosome 21 onto chromosome 14. And the recombinant chromosome 14 carries now a copy of the 21st chromosome. So if a gamete receives the new recombinant chromosome 14, this will effectively carry a copy of the 21st chromosome, as well as the normal pair of the chromosomes 21. So the resulting zygote, if this gamete will fuse, will effectively inherit an additional 21st chromosome. So there will be three chromosomes because of the gamete fusion in the fertilization. The next and last example I want to, um, want to mention is chronic myeloid leukemia, which is caused by a translocation between chromosomes 9 and 22. And the translocation leads to a reposition and ch change in the expression of the genes. I want to mention this a little bit more detailed for those that uh, want to know it a little bit more detailed. So the point at which the two chromosomes cross over happens in this example between the genes or between the coding regions, so where the genetic sequence is not completed yet. So it's kind of like ripped apart on both chromosomes and that leads to a abnormal fusion of existing genes. So the resulting protein, when now the two broken open genes fuse, will um, code for another sequence and the resulting protein contains a region which is capable of stimulating cell division without needing an activation uh, or other uh, activation or other cell signals. So it's like a light switch that's always switched on and always generates light. And here in this example, it will constantly stimulate cell division. So here we have the loss of the ability of regulation of cell growth. And maybe you remember, or maybe you had pathology already here. This is one example for, it is one of the characteristics for neoplasms, which is necessary for tumor growth, and which is one of the characteristics of tumors that they can divide and divide and divide without control. And here in this case, this is because of a translocation.